This is something that you should do before the next update. And I'm going to be informing you guys of this because I don't think a lot of people are aware of just the effects or just how overpowered Paragon is currently. So I mean, in the beginning, I purposefully showed you just how much gems I was earning per 5 minutes or per completion of Paragon, which is basically around 1,500, 1,300 gems. You could earn up to around 2,000 at around wave 200. The problem with this is it's so overpowered. It's too overpowered. Powered. And let's be honest here, if it's this easy to get gems, the developers might not make that much money from gems. So they're eventually going to be reworking, hashtag a better word for nerfing Paragon stages. So the reason why I mentioned this is because, yes, it is actually too overpowered. Like all jokes aside, I do believe that um, Paragon stages is a little bit too overpowered right now. Specifically because there's actually one component of Paragon stages that is bugged. And that's going to be... Um, and that is going to be one of the modifiers, the modifier being strong. So strong actually, I believe this should actually stack. This modifier turns regular enemies into strengthened enemies, giving them more health. So this should give them times two all the time, right? But it doesn't do that. Like if you take a look at this, for example, modifier count times two, and I have 76 of them. If I had 76 of them and it wasn't bugged or it doesn't stack, or if it did stack, my bad. I would have such a high HP enemies by now, but I don't because it doesn't stack. I don't know if that's like how it's supposed to work or if it's supposed to work different or if it's supposed to work another way. But that's how it works right now currently in um, Anime Vanguard's Paragon stages. And without being said, in the next update of the game, it is confirmed that Paragon is going to be getting a rework. And when it eventually inevitably gets a rework, this will definitely gut, if not nerf, the rewards for Paragon stages. You will not, you'll no, you'll no longer be earning 2,000 gems per five minutes in Paragon stages after the next update of the game or after they finally rework it. Because again, it's too overpowered, and the only reason you're even able to get that high is because strong is actually bugged, or if it's not bugged, it's designed to not stack, which I think is, it's more likely that it's definitely bugged, because again, it should stack, right? Otherwise, there's literally no point in not picking strong, which is what people are doing right now. So my suggestion and the purpose of this video is to inform you guys that you need to do this right now. Like if you're grinding Alucard, or if you're grinding, sorry, Igris or Goku. I would suggest try and drop those grinds for now and just farm Paragon Stages because the next update I believe is going to be in about two weeks um, tops, maybe one to two weeks tops. And if you don't get or if you don't farm Paragon Stages on all maps before they rework Paragon or they fix the bugs or they fix Paragon Stages, you will lose out on so much gems. I have earned for example, around 150,000 gems in the past two days only. And I'm about to earn even more from my current Paragon stages because I am now at uh, floor 110, I believe. So I'm about to start earning even more. And I will start earning more even um, as I keep on getting higher with the stages that I'm doing. So... Um, so that's why, in my opinion, you should be farming this Paragon stages right now. Um, I've already made like multiple guides on how to get like you know higher, higher, higher in Paragon stages. But my recommendation is get to as high wave as you physically can with your units. Okay, so I just wanted to include this portion here very quickly. These are going to be the three units that you're mostly going to need, okay? Three units, and the number one unit is obviously going to be a farm unit. Um, either Takaroda or Sprint Wagon. Personally, I just bring Takaroda with me. I think Takaroda has enough um, has enough gold that when you upgrade him to his max, which you can, you basically have enough to upgrade the next unit that you're going to be bringing, which is going to be your main damage unit it to max or not even max um to basically just until they get their full area of effect ability so there are three or sorry yeah three units that you can bring to uh paragon stages as your full area of effect unit number one you could do igris because igris has um full area of effect and can't get stunned by bosses and then you have units like um tengen which is also the same um, has full area of effect, very cheap, and has more DPS actually. Yeah, more DPS than Igris in a lot of cases, especially when Igris is not buffed. And then you have Alucard, which is 
a unit that I do not have yet. But Alucard is possibly going to be the worst full area of effect unit that you could bring. And again, some people are probably gonna say, bro, you're you're never cook again because you're wrong. Alucard's the best. Some people are just very biased to Alucard because he's the rarest unit in the game, but he's not really the best DPS unit in the game. Like, uh, other units will out DPS Alucard, and in Paracon stages, specifically the later stages, when you have a lot of regen enemies, and when you have enemies that have tons of strength, you will need a unit that has a ton of DPS and can kill that boss out and get that boss out of there very quickly, and also a unit that doesn't really get stunned. So, the best option would be Igris because he doesn't get stunned by bosses and you need a unit that doesn't get stunned and also has full area of effect but again Alucard, Tengen and Igris is very good and then you're gonna need Vegeta and Vegeta is basically there to early defend your units or your your base uh, uh, slow. so Vegeta his main goal is to defend your base while you're upgrading your farm and your main damage units to max or to their full area of effect attack and yeah that's basically what um, he does so those are the three most important units and then the other three slots can be filled with support units like right now I have Bean for regen, Agony for pushback, and Crocodile for slow. So that's pretty much it. I might make a full dedicated video on the best team possible. Uh, so yeah. And um, after you're done, for example, with one map, move to the next difficulty, which is Nightmare. Then do that, and then move to the next map. For example, after after um, Nam Namek, you're gonna move on to the desert map, and then after that, you're gonna do both normal and nightmare, and then after that, you're gonna move on to double dungeon stages, and you're just gonna farm all of those as much as you can. You can't macro it without um, using some very advanced macros, but um, ma once you finish all of these three maps with those two difficulties normal and nightmare and get to as high stage as you possibly can you can earn around 1 million gems if not even more than 1 million gems because again i've, I've stated already that i've already earned 150 to 200 thousand gems from simply farming paragon stages and i'm about to earn way more because i'm at a higher stage now so um and again like i mentioned in the beginning of this video it's about to get nerfed so if you aren't on that paragon grind hop on that paragon grind right now stop whatever it is you're doing hop on that paragon grind and try to grind out paragon because once the next update releases in two weeks it's gonna get nerfed gutted and it's going to be way harder i think it's gonna be way harder and i think the, the rewards might be way less than what it is right now because the rewards right now are just crazy over Power. It's gonna be so easy to get all the new units in the next update with 400,000 gems from Paragon. So, yeah, that's pretty much it with Paragon stages right now in Anime Vanguards. It's something that you need to farm. I could say it's bugged right now, and it's probably gonna be in the title that it's bugged because I do think it's currently bugged because strong enemies should not be like this, right? Um, so, yeah, it's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, then don't forget to like and subscribe. But yeah, farm Paragon stages if you haven't yet because they're absolutely crazy. They're crazy overpowered, guys.